Why we're running it. The BMW 5 Series is the go-to executive saloon for those who enjoy driving. But is it also a great family car month one specs life where the BMW 520D month one welcoming the 520D two hour fleet the 27th of September the 2017 the BMW range may have mushroomed over the past decade or so with the brand moving into every market niche imaginable but that doesn't mean it has taken its eye off the ball when it comes to traditional models like the 5 series. Blending supreme ride comfort with a cutting-edge interior and, whenever it takes your fancy, exciting and entertaining rear-wheel drive dynamism, the latest 5 Series numerous talents make it our pick of the current executive car crop. Predictably, it was close when we tested it against the Jaguar XF and Mercedes-Benz a class earlier this year but the 5 Series won out by virtue of it being the best all-rounder. Here's the thing, though can all the people who now buy SUVs instead of big saloons be wrong or when you start a family, as my wife and I recently have, do you suddenly see the light and start to wish you had an X as well as a 5 in your BMW's name I'll be finding out for myself in the months ahead but, for now, I'm still marveling at just how far BMW has moved this new 5 series on from the previous version, which, let's be honest, WASNT exactly shabby. OK, the new car maybe looks a bit too much like the smaller 3 Series and bigger 7 Series, but being based on the same cluster architecture car platform as the 7 Series is a real benefit because it incorporates aluminium, magnesium and titanium to help reduce weight by up to 100 kilograms. This is good news for both performance and fuel efficiency, and the sense that you're basically getting a 7 Series limo for a lot less cash continues when you climb into the cabin of the 5 Series. The switch gear is pretty much identical and the materials are just as classy, plus six-footers have enough space to stretch out in the rear as well as in the front. When deciding which engine to go for, we were tempted by the effortless performance of the 530 seconds 3.0-litre diesel unit but, ultimately, we've gone for the 2.0-litre 520D because this is bought in much bigger numbers. To be more accurate, it's easily the most popular version among the company car drivers who make up the bulk of 5 Series owners, thanks to sub-110 GKM CO2 emissions that bring correspondingly low benefit and kind tax bills. Where most people opt for the sporter-looking M Sport trim, though, we've stuck with the cheaper Shea specification because this has smaller alloy wheels that improve the ride and it still comes equipped with everything from satellite navigation and leather upholstery to front and rear parking sensors and an 8-speed automatic gearbox. BMW also offers a long list of optional extras, from which we selected the electronic damper control system 985 pounds, which lets you soften or firm up the suspension to suit the road conditions. The £895 electric front seats with driver's memory seemed like another sensible addition, given that lots of different people will be sampling the car during its time with us. And although it feels a bit cheeky of BMW to charge £335 for split-folding rear seats, these do bring useful extra versatility. Our car also has several options that BMW was keen for us to try, including gesture control £160 and a display key £235 that lets you Remotely check whether the doors are locked and the lights are off, and even prep the aircon to come on in time for your return to the car. I'll report on whether these features are worth the money after I've spent more time using them. In the meantime, first impressions of the 5 Series are almost entirely positive, and I've been particularly impressed with the engine refinement. In the past, four-cylinder BMWs have been a bit grumbly at town speeds and when cold, but the latest 520D is always super smooth. In this respect, it's significantly better than my previous long-term test car, a Volvo S90. Although both cars are comfortable cruisers, the S90 feels like the heavyweight it is on winding roads, whereas the 5 Series disguises its bulk brilliantly when you put it in sport mode. Perhaps the biggest difference, though, is in the respective infotainment systems. The S90 features a large touchscreen that looks smart and lets you swipe, pinch and scroll as you do with an iPad. Unfortunately, although this sounds good in theory, the system is actually rather slow to respond and can cause you to take your eyes off the road. By contrast, the latest iteration of BMW's iDrive setup is almost impossible to fault. As in the S90, the screen is touch-sensitive, so you can quickly punch a destination into the sat-nav when stationary, but there's also a rotary dial and some shortcut buttons that are far less distracting to use on the move, plus the menus are more intuitive and there's none of the Volvo's sluggishness. As for gripes, there really is very little to report at the moment. 
Fingers crossed, that won't change, but, if it does, you'll read it here first. Steve Huntingford's second opinion Can we talk about how brilliant a drive is this 5 Series was the first BMW to receive the latest version, which allows you to set custom tiles on the home screen for your favorite functions, and it has made an already good system great. For sure ease of use, it leaves the Audi MMI and Mercedes-Benz command setups leagues behind, Darren Moss BMW 520D Shea specification specs price new £36,815 price as tested £42,815 options 18 inches multi-spoke alloy wheels £995 electronic damper control £985 electric front seats with driver's memory £895 glacier silver paint £675 pounds, enhanced Bluetooth with wireless charging 475 pounds, front sport seats 475 pounds, reversing camera 375 pounds, folding, anti-dazzle wing mirrors 335 pounds, split folding rear seats 335 pounds, anthracite headlining 265 pounds, Apple CarPlay 235 pounds, display key 235 pounds, adjustable lumbar support 225 pounds, gesture control 100 165 pounds, Henline Entertainment 160 pounds, High Beam Assistant 95 pounds, Run Flat Tires 0 pounds, Wi-Fi Hotspot 0 pounds, Test Data Engine 1995 cc, Turbocharged Diesel Power 185 bhp at 4000 revolutions per minute Torque 295 pounds feet at 17,502,500 revolutions per minute Top Speed 146 miles per hour 062 mph 7.5 sec claimed fuel economy 68.9 mpg test fuel economy 68.8 mpg co 2 108 gkm faults none expenses none back to the top